Hey everybody, it's the Burger Dude, and today we're making some vegan bacon wrapped hot dogs, and we're making them four ways, and these are perfect for indoor or outdoor grilling, so let's get to it. We're gonna start with the bacon, of course. Now, I've made this a few times here on this channel, but let's do a refresher. For the marinade, we're gonna mix up three tablespoons of soy sauce, and these little anchor hocking glasses are handy for things like measuring out three tablespoons. And after the soy sauce, let's add in one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of chipotle powder, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast as dictated by vegan law, of course, and then one teaspoon of MSG, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then we're gonna give that a whisk. And next we need to prep our rice paper, and this is what I'm using. And we're gonna take two sheets and then give them a bath in some water. And I found that not all rice paper are the same. Some take longer to soak in the water, but you basically want it soft enough that you can easily cut it, but not so soft that it gets mushy. And once we've massaged in some water, let it drip dry a bit. And now let's transfer it to another dish or skillet where we've added our marinade. And now just the same thing, massage that marinade in there, nothing like a good old marinade massage. And after we've got it nice and coated, we're gonna carefully place it on a cutting board, making sure we don't let it fold over itself. And we're gonna get a pastry brush and we're gonna just get as many of those air bubbles out of there as we can, as well as distribute the marinade as evenly as possible. And then I'm gonna use a pizza cutter to cut out some bacon slices, which I'll then lay out on a wire rack. And that's basically it. After that, we just need to wrap our hot dogs. And these are what I'm using, the Stadium Dogs by Field Roast. These are my favorite as of this video. I can find them at Whole Foods and I think Sprouts, but use whatever you like. So to wrap our dogs, it does take a little bit of practice, but what I found that works the best is to let gravity work for you and just kind of spin the hot dog and let the bacon wrap itself. You might have to guide it a little bit and more than likely you'll need two strips of bacon to cover the whole dog. But as you can see here, after a bit of practice, I think I got it down to a science. There you go, that's what it should look like. And one benefit of this vegan bacon versus the non-vegan bacon is it really adheres to the dog. And the bacon recipe made enough for about 11 hot dogs. And it's worth noting that just for about everything we're doing today, you can totally prep ahead for your barbecue. So store these for later if you wish. Okay, now that our dogs are wrapped, let's make some hot dogs. First up is the classic LA street dog. If you're not familiar, these originated in Mexico and are also typically made in Los Angeles and San Francisco by street vendors who post up outside of bars and clubs after everyone is nice and drunk. Just about every one of my old white t-shirts used to have these mustard stains on them because of these things. So we're gonna start by slicing up some bell peppers and jalapenos. Usually the jalapenos or serrano peppers are served whole, but I wanna infuse everything with some spice, so I'm slicing these guys up too. We're also gonna slice up an onion because onions are awesome and should be on every hot dog. In fact, I just realized three out of the four hot dogs we're making have onions on them. Now, I totally wanted to make these on my new grill that I just got. This thing is super awesome. It's a big old flat top and it's perfect for this kind of thing, but well, it's really hot out here in Burbank and I'm a huge baby, so I opted to make these in my nice cool house instead, but the method is pretty much the same. If you wanted to make these on a charcoal grill, you would just need one of those veggie basket thingamajigs. But essentially, we just wanna grill these peppers and onions, add some salt and pepper, of course, and then after a while, once they're starting to get some color, we'll make some room for the star of the show, our bacon wrapped hot dog. And to cook these, it's a good idea to just let them sit for a while in order to get the bacon to crisp up. After a bit, we'll turn our hot dog and let it grill until we do all four sides. And once we have a good, even crisping on our dog, it should look something like that. And now it's time to build our dog. So add your bacon dog to a bun, then top it with as many onions and peppers as you like. And then we'll do some mustard, ketchup, and a good squeeze of mayo. And there you go. One of the greatest culinary inventions of humankind, hands down. And the first bite of these things always gets me. It's just so incredibly delicious. And if you've never had one, I urge you to try it. And if you're vegan and you miss these, well, what are you waiting for? Make one as soon as possible. All right, next let's do a sour cream and onion dog. And this one is ridiculously easy. In fact, there's no recipe for it. All you need to do is get some of this accidentally plant-based onion dip mix. I've heard that Lipton's has a plant-based one too, but you just add that to some vegan sour cream. I'm using my favorite by Kite Hill. 
and then let it hang out in the fridge for 30 minutes and bam, you've got some vegan sour cream and onion dip. So top one of your dogs with it, then give it a sprinkling of some crushed up potato chips, some chives because we are supposed to eat a green thing every day and there you go one of the easiest yet most delicious hot dogs of my life i mean how can you go wrong and i really really love crunchy toppings on a dog all right and here's another super easy one to put together we're going to make a western bacon cheese dog so cook your dog as you do but then we're going to add a slice of vegan american cheese i'm using this one by follow your heart which in my experience melts the best so we're gonna add that slice of cheese and then a few squirts of water. We'll cover to steam to melt the cheese and a minute or so later, and there you go, melted cheese on a hot dog. Now just add that to a bun as best you can. Drizzle on some barbecue sauce. Then get some of these fried onions. And by the way, you should just bring these to a barbecue anyways. They go great on everything. Dogs, burgers, potato salad. Heck, they're just a great snack on their own. So top the dog with some of those and then a little bit more barbecue sauce, never hurt nobody. And there you go, a Western bacon cheese dog. And this thing was so dang good, pretty much like you'd expect. And I don't know why barbecue sauce isn't more common on hot dogs. It really should be on more. So if you've never tried it, remedy that toot sweet. And all right, now let's make probably my favorite one of the bunch, the Elote or Esquites hot dog. First, let's put together something I saw Sam the Cooking Guy do on his video. We'll get some melted vegan butter, add some lime juice, and then some chipotle powder, some tahini, and then we're gonna mix that up. And next, we're gonna roast some corn on the charcoal grill, and I know I just said it was too hot outside to do this, but something about cooking corn inside feels wrong, so I had to just brave the heat. All you need to do is brush on some of that lovely tahini chipotle butter, and just grill these as you do until they look something like this. Totally beautiful. Now, let's go back inside because it's too fucking hot and we'll get a bowl. And now we just need to shave our corn on the cob. I have no idea if that's the right word for what I'm doing, but whatever, it works for me. I'm shaving this corn on the cob. And now we're gonna make probably my favorite thing in this whole video, some tahini mayo. So add some vegan mayo to a bowl, then some tahini, which is a delicious lime and chili seasoning. Next, let's add some lime juice and chopped cilantro, and then last but not least, some garlic. And we're gonna give that a mix, and my friends, this is so unbelievably good and easy. I honestly think you could just put this on anything, burgers, tacos, sandwiches. Heck, I could eat it with the spoon, and I did. I'm gonna add a bit to my corn, add as much as you'd like, and this is honestly a good side dish as is, so you could totally make this for a barbecue and then just top some dogs with it as well. And now that all our components for the elote dog are ready, it's time to build. So let's get our dog in a bun and then spread on plenty of that tahini mayo, followed by that corn slash esquites, and then some cilantro. And then traditionally you'll find cotija cheese on this, but I've never found any vegan cotija, so I'm just gonna use this vegan feta, which is a common alternative from my understanding. So sprinkle on that feta and there you go, probably in my top five best hot dogs of all time. I mean, you really can't go wrong. Everything involved is super amazing. So naturally, this is just gonna be off the charts. And that being said, I really hope you all make at least one of these dogs this summer, or hopefully this video has inspired you to experiment with other hot dog toppings. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.